Promotion is the prize for the winners of the Championship 1 Grand Final and two of the game's traditional clubs meeting for the right to join Hunslet Hawks in playing in the higher tier in 2011. It's Oldham against York and Warrington's Halliwell Jones Stadium, now the traditional home of the Championship Grand Final day. This is the way the two sides will line up. First of all, it's uh, Oldham. And Oldham have got uh, Paul O'Connor, Lucas Onyango, Marcus St. Hilaire, Mick Fogarty and John Gillam with Neil Roden and Greg McNally at half. The forwards, Jason Bolts, Martin Roden, Wayne Kerr, Chris Clark, Joe Chandler and Valu Bentley. And the substitutes, Matty Ash, Dave Ellison, Danny Whitmore and Ben Heaton. The coach is Tony Benson. For York, it's James Haynes at full-back, then Wayne Retty, Mike Mitchell, Lee Waterman, Danny Wilson, Danny Ratcliffe and Chris Thorman. Up front, Nathan Freer, Jack Lee and Alex Benson, Jordan Ross, Ryan Esders and Luke Hardbottle. And on the bench, Steve Lewis, Jack Stearman, Paul Stamp and Dinsdale Callum, uh, Callum Dinsdale. And the, uh, the coach is Dave Woods. But the uh, players are on their way out. They've left the dressing rooms. This is their big day. And whoever wins this match will join Hunslet Hawks in the higher tier in 2011. So as I say, an afternoon filled with passions about to get underway. Let's join our commentators. We've got Terry O'Connor and Barry McDermott seated alongside Ben Pro. Thank you very much, Eddie. Well, as you say, a prize in the championship next year alongside title winning Hunslet is the prize for the winners of this championship one grand final between the two highest ranked clubs below the Hawks. There is this afternoon's referee, Gareth Ewer. And that heartache that York have suffered in each of the last three years at the hands of Keithley, Doncaster and Featherston. They really want to end their stay in the championship one this afternoon. Greg McNally preparing to get this match underway for Oldham. Desperate, as I say, to end this three-year losing streak. It hasn't been a happy final for them. But York, who finished a number of points, 13 points below Oldham. But York spoiled the party by winning the first match there back in May. A couple of tries from Dennis Tufer. And uh, Waterman, who's on the pitch this afternoon with a try and five goals on that occasion. This is Alex Benson. Second. That's Dave Woods, the York coach. Promoted with Castleford. Promoted with Whitehaven. How he would love that particular hat trick this afternoon. With Gateshead, I, uh, I beg your pardon. There is Ross. It evades on Yango. It finds Retty, and Retty finds the corner. Wayne Retty with the first try of the championship one grand final. And the young contingent in this crowd. And Wayne Retty with only his fifth try of the season. Well, he was a winner in this final two years ago as Ellery Hanley's Doncaster beat Oldham. Is he on the way to beating the Ruffians again in a York City night shirt? Wayne Retty scores a fantastic try for York City Knights. From great field position, lovely hands gives them the overlap. Lucas Anyango has no choice. He's stuck between two players. He takes the gamble and goes for the ball and comes up with nothing. And Wayne Retty, after a head clash with Paul O'Connor, both players feeling the effects of that. You see Lucas Anyango, the number two, comes up with nothing. Wayne Retty gives his side the greatest start. Former Hunslet Parkside amateur and an academy grand final loser as well with Leeds against Wigan five years ago, Wayne Retty. Just watch this. Big impact there. Paul O'Connor. I think that's maybe his cheekbone. Wayne Retty's teeth. There you go. X marks the spot. Lee Waterman, the leading point scorer in Championship One this year. 100 goals, as you see. But he's missed with that attempt from the touchline. York, no strike first blood. They lead by four points to nil. There is Thorman's kick, testing on Yango. 
And the former Kenyan Rugby Union International deals with that and launches the counter and then it's Waterman who comes in and effects the tackle. But it's another Chris Thorman kick that really tests and asks questions of Oldham. And Onyango had to be good, he had to use his pace to get to it. But Chris Thorman, we use an expression playing in a dinner suit. I reckon that's going to be his phrase for the day. You won't see him play the ball too many times. Oldham then in possession in their own half for the moment. McNally finds Bolt. Benson with the tackle for York. Roden tries to chip and collect. Bounces really well for Roden. And Roden will chip ahead again. Mick Fogarty is chasing this. Fogarty collects. Fogarty will score. And Fogarty will level at Halliwell Jones. The former Rochdale man. And there's ever present this year. 18 tries before tonight. It's his 19th of the season then, and Mick Fogarty crowns a fantastic move from Oldham. And this, the kick still to come, of course, and that would give, if successful, Oldham the lead for the first time. They've weathered an awful lot of York pressure in this opening 20 minutes or so. And now Mick Fogarty puts Oldham on the board for the first time in the Championship One Grand Final. Well, Mick Fogarty scores this try, but put it down to great work from Neil Rolden. A lovely little chip, and to have the bravery to put it on your boot and give one of your teammates a chance to score that try. Just watch the skill set here. He kicks this ball, it bounces into his hands. Excellent stuff. And just watch this regather from Michael Fogarty. Beautiful stuff. Excellent work from this player. Oldham needed this, all that pressure has been absorbed and they tie the scores up. Well, Neil Roden, one of two Oldham representatives in the dream team for 2010. And as you say, the full array of skills to supply that try for Mick Fogarty. Another talented player out there, Greg McNally, with his first attempt this afternoon. Not an easy opportunity for him. This to give Oldham the lead. He's just pulled it wide. It's four each. Backwards. Offside. Again, now Oldham offside. They're not helping themselves, Oldham. Whenever they get in good field position when they're defending, they give the penalties away. All they've got to do is have a little look where Gareth Hewitt is, the referee. It's only one step. They're behind the referee to come forward. And Chris Thorman's kick plants York deep in Oldham territory as a result of that penalty. You can't keep inviting the opposition into your own half. And that's exactly why, because Haynes is over. James Haynes on the back of that penalty, a huge kick from Thorman. And James Haynes punishes Oldham again. They drew first blood in this game, and now James Haynes, with his third try of the season, puts the City Knights back in front in Warrington. We said they couldn't concede the penalties, the field position followed on from that. And in the blink of an eye, James Haynes, who tasted Super League with Hull Kingston Rovers last year, puts York back in front. Well, Chris Thorman has full control of this game. 30 metres he buys his side, and a lovely little short side player. One player goes through, James Haynes receives the ball, keeps his balance, keeps his composure, and plants the ball down for York. Neil Roden taking the wrong option, going for the player who was the option runner, and just gives James Haynes a, a good run to the line, and he doesn't need to be asked twice. Tremendous play from York. And he salutes those York fans for whom he hasn't scored a try this season. The two tries previous have come in the colours of the Dewsbury Rams. So what a time for James Haynes to open his City Knights account. Here is Lee Waterman from the touchline. What a kick that is as well. And York take a six-point lead here. Ahead now by ten points to four. Last one as Roden chips the ball. It ricochets kindly for York. Jack Lee is away. Jack Lee showing pace here. He's got support on his outside from Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe against Onyango. And oh. Onyango is there. And Onyango makes a crucial tackle in the opening stage of this second half. Super Can they hold him out? Super. Hand on the ball. 
Waterman it was. York have the penalty, there was a ball steal in there. Well, Lucas Onyango come from nowhere to pull down Danny Ratcliffe. But I think Paul O'Connor is the man who's been penalised for Oldham for stripping the ball. York are going to take the two points. Great oh. defence from Oldham. Sorry, Ben, I'm, get, I'm getting too excited. Lucas Onyango, didn't he have to be good then? It was a superb break from the York side after a poor kick from Oldham. A poor end to their set. But York will just... Here's the penalty. Well, Paul O'Connor just had his hands in. Stripping that ball to get the penalty for. Was it offloaded, Tez? So, Lee Waterman with a, a straightforward chance to extend York's lead at the start of this second half. No problem for the former Skirler uh, amateur. York extend their lead to 12 points to four now. Neil Roden's well. kick went behind Wilson. And Wilson would work to do here briefly. And he's got back into the field of play with a plum there, Danny Wilson. Well, Mick Fogarty was not happy with his effort, trying to tackle Wilson. Two, three. That's just Lewis. So many yards, York. Again, quick play of the ball. The speed of these York play the balls, causing Oldham real problems, and the speed of Wayne Retty calling call them real Move. problems there. Move. Well, I said in the first half, the initial contact from Oldham's very good, but they're just falling off the tackles. Whitmore still going, a prime example of what you're talking about there, Terry. Again, Jason Bolt's getting his shoulder and just spinning all that tackle. You've got to be better than that. Gordon throws the dummy, and the birthday boy scores a crucial try for York. His family are watching, his fans are watching. And another one for the collection for Chris Thorman. It's his sixth try of the season at a crucial time in this Championship One Grand Final. It takes York out to a 16-4 lead with the kick to come. And it's more silverware, more history heading the way, perhaps, of Chris Thorman and the York City Knights. Well, Chris Thorman is having an absolute field there. For Lou Bentley gets that all wrong. He's ball watching. Where's that ball going? He tells some lies for him. He looks to up past that ball. So clever. Dave Woods goes wild. Look at the excitement in his face. The fans go up. They know that this could be York's day. Thorman, it will be to kick to improve his own try. Back to the strategy and the coaching from Dave Woods after that moment of elation there. Thorman's first goal of the Championship One season is a formality. Six points for Thorman, 18 now for York. And a 14-point margin. Martin Road and not the best ball, Bentley goes without it, Jack Lee launches the counter and the pattern continues and Lee is away Jack Lee still going he's got support on his right hand side Jack Lee makes a superb break just look at all that open pitch in front of him he's one of the Oldham players I'll see you later and makes 40 metres upfield they're still going, Mitchell with the latest dagger into this Oldham heart Three. Lewis, Thorman going for the one-pointer from right in front. He continues to dominate this match, Chris Thorman. 19 points to four now for the York City Knights. Well, let's just rub salt into the wounds. Chris Thorman under no pressure. He's having an absolute field there. He's led his side from the front, and they've had no answer to the guy that this man has got. 19 points to four. Is he about to seal a third promotion with a third different club? Castleford and Gateshead before, and now York City Knights. 
Norman. Callum Dinsdale now. Stamp, short ball, Esdas. Norman again. Still going, good ball as well for Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe almost over the top. They're going to get six more here. Referee does wipe the tackle count clean, and Haynes is there. Let's move. Stamp. Thorman, quick ball. Great play from Ratcliffe. It's a try here for Steve Lewis. Lewis throws the ball up in celebration. The party has begun for York City Knights. Lewis with the try. It's his third try of the season, but they won't be too concerned about that at the moment. Steve Lewis delighted with that effort. York City Knights will take their place alongside Hunslet Hawks in the championship next year. Remember, they finished 13 points adrift of Oldham after the regular season. They lost to Oldham two weeks ago in the qualifier for this showpiece. They've got so much movement, York. I'm not sure about the dive from Steve Lewis, but if you look at what Danny Ratcliffe has added to this game, they have just never given up. They've chanced it out. Walden play comes flying out the line, again putting pressure on the outside defence, but Steve Lewis goes in for what must be the match-winning try. There he is, Chris Foreman. He knows what it's all about, and that's getting the results and getting promoted. Can he add the touchline conversion for good measure? Chris Thorman can do anything this afternoon. The birthday boy is having a field day. 25 points to four. Lewis with the try, Thorman with the goal. And surely no way back now for Oldham. Quality hands here from York. Just look at the skill set on the York players. Lovely pass hands. It's not done. Well, they're saying the referee, it's a loose carry. There's the first knock on from Ben Heaton. The play on. Saying it's a loose carry, though, they lose the ball. And there it is. The crowd have counted down, and York City Knights will play in the championship in 2011. So we're just waiting now as Jordan Ross receives the trophy and the York City Knights will play in the championship next year. And that was as comprehensive a beating as you could wish to see. They were the best team from start to finish.